Hi everybody, I'm back. And today, today I'm gonna to show you all how to make gyros. Here's what you will need. You will need naan bread, okay? I find my naan bread at Kroger's. You can also find it at Walmart as well. Okay, you're gonna need naan bread. You're also going to need shredded iceberg lettuce. I've got mine pre-shredded. Um, if you want it to, you go ahead and get your own le uh, lettuce and just shred it up. Okay? You're going to need fresh tomatoes. And I have two beautiful Roma tomatoes that we're going to use today. You're going to need onion. Onion is optional. Um, my husband likes onions on his, so I'll be putting onions on his today. And then you also will need gyro meat okay here's what it looks like and all you have to do is heat it up you can actually microwave this but i'm going to give it a nice fry okay that's how i'm going to cook mines today um normally you would use a tzatziki sauce but i'm not making tzatziki sauce and i wasn't able to find any so I'm going to use this Hidden Valley Ranch and Cucumber, give you the same exact taste, okay? Because it has cucumber in it, cucumber is one of the ingredients that's in tzatziki sauce, okay? I think, <laughs> don't quote me on that. And you'll need some sea salt, some cracked black pepper, all right? And what we're going to have on the side of our gyros, we're going to have just some french fries, okay? So this is the pan that I'm gonna cook our beautiful uh, gyro meat in. And over here, this pan, I have this pan heating up so that I can make some beautiful french fries. Okay, so first thing that we wanna do, let's go ahead and get our vegetables cut, okay? Move everything out of my way so I can get in here. Let's go ahead and get our tomatoes cut. I've washed my tomatoes off. And you wanna chop them up finely. If you wanted to, you could just do slices, but I like to have mine's chopped up when I think of how I like my gyros, okay? So I like to cut the ends off just like so. Boy, am I excited. I don't know when's the last time I actually had a gyro, a good gyro. You know, when you think of a gyro, you want one and you, you want to be able to remember it. You know, you don't just want any gyro and they throw a bunch of sauce on it and it's really messy. You know, you want one that's going to stick to your memory. And that's what this will do. When you make it yourself, you can make it however you would like. You can put cheese in it, shredded cheese in it if you want. You can use Greek yogurt, anything as possible when you're making your own like I said go ahead and fry that meat up you don't have to microwave it make it how you like it if you wanted to put a little bit of garlic powder on your meat definitely do that okay let me move this out of the way so that I can have room to cut my tomato I think I'm just gonna cut this one tomato because Dakota He's not going to have tomatoes on his. Um, and then just me and my husband will have tomatoes. So I don't think I need to cut the other one. Okay, just like so. And right before we put this onto our gyro sandwich, I like to salt and pepper this tomato. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so go in and chop it up a little bit smaller. Like I said, if you want to do slices, feel free to make slices. Okay, so let's go ahead and put our beautiful tomato. That's a beautiful, juicy tomato. Put that tomato right on here. And then we'll start to cut a couple slices of the onion. Okay. Grab a towel here. I want to wipe the tomato juice up a little. Beautiful. I hope you all have had a great Saturday today. Today was a great day. 
It was cold outside, but it was beautiful. Okay, let's go in, cut some of this tomato. Let's see, and I don't need to, or I said tomato. I really meant to say onion. And I think this amount will do us. Because I know that Dakota's not going to have onion on his as well. He's just going to have the lettuce and the sauce. <coughs> okay, so I like to... some. You can slice it if you want to. I think I'm going to go ahead and chop it up into fine pieces. Okay? I think I just might put some onion on mine tonight. Oh, yeah. See, now I'm getting excited. Now I'm getting excited. When's the last time you all had a really good gyro? And now, here's the thing. You can find, I have the lamb meat, okay? The gyro lamb meat. You can get the chicken, the chicken meat for your gyro as well. I'm not sure where you can purchase your gyro meat, but get on the internet and look around because definitely you can find it in your area as well. I found this uh, gyro meat at my meat market that I love to go to. It's like they have everything. Anything you're looking for, they have it. Okay, so I'm going to put this right on the same plate as I have my tomatoes as well. Okay. Just like so. So earlier today, I did the video for the um, pound cake with the lemon glaze on it. And I also did the video for the baked potatoes with everything on it. On the baked potato, we put just about everything we could put on those baked potatoes and they were delicious. Make sure to check that video out because it's an awesome video. Okay, and I'm going to put some saran wrap around this onion. So now that my oil has started to heat up, what I'm going to do, because I want to time everything. I don't want, here's what I don't want to happen. I don't want to still be cooking my french fries and my meat, my gyro meat is done. So we'll go ahead and get the french fries to the point to where they're just about done and then we'll start our meat because the meat doesn't take long at all. The meat is already cooked. All I want to do is give it just a nice fry and get it nice and warmed up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put my french fries in now. When they're almost done, we'll start on our beautiful meat and I'll let you know exactly how long we cook the meat. I'll be back everyone. Okay, everybody, we have our beautiful fries cooking up. Let me show you what the frozen, and some of the pieces are stuck together, but it's okay. Okay, I just had to kind of take my knife and chop through it, okay? So this is what it looks like frozen. We're going to go ahead and start adding it to our skillet. And so what I aimed for was around about four to five pieces for each sandwich, okay? or for each gyro. All right, and I think I can fit all of this meat in here as well. Okay. Just like so. Like I said, all you're aiming for is just to get it nice and warm. It's already cooked. All right. So I'm gonna turn this up onto a medium high heat while our french fries cook up. And I'm gonna show you how to assemble one beautiful gyro. If you've never had them before, you better make you one. Absolutely. And even if you wanted to make a tzatziki sauce, hey, feel free to make your tzatziki sauce. But I'm gonna do the ranch cucumber, the ranch with the cucumber, because that's gonna be the next flavor that's right pinpoint on to this tzatziki. Okay, and you can see that our gyro meat is starting to heat up beautifully. French fries are cooking, and I'll be back. Okay, everyone, our 
gyro meat is actually done. And I put just a tiny bit, it wasn't even a teaspoon of oil in there, but it's just a little tiny bit just to get the meat going. But our meat is done. I've tasted three or four pieces and it is absolutely delectable. I wish that each and every one of you were here with me right now so we can enjoy some coffee together and a gyro and sit down in my dining room table and play some cards. I wish you all were here with me. I really do. These gyros are gonna be so delicious. Woo wee! And like I said, hey, don't forget that there's chicken gyro meat out there as well. Okay? So our french fries are almost done as soon as I take the fries out. You see, I don't know if you can see. See how they're starting to get nice and golden brown? Okay, I'm going to get them maybe two more shades, a little bit browner, and then we'll go ahead, take those out, and we're going to put them on this cooling rack that I have here. Meanwhile, let's keep a nice eye on these because you don't want to burn these, okay? And you don't need to get any color on these either, okay? They don't have to get nice and brown or anything like that. All you have to do is heat it on up, right? And what we're going to do with our naan bread is, with your naan bread, you can put it right on top of the stove to heat it up. You can put it in a toaster, in the oven. I like to put mine in a microwave so it can be nice and soft. Okay, and it tastes just like fresh naan bread right out of the oven. Okay. Getting ready to take out our french fries. I have some meat here that's getting a little dark on me. So I'm going to go ahead and take those pieces out. Okay, beautiful. Everything's turning out just beautiful. Okay, let me take the french fries out, and I'll be right back. Our gyro meat is out, and it's just beautiful. Okay, let's go ahead and put some sea salt, just a little bit, on your fries. Okay? A little bit of cracked black pepper as well. Mmm, just like this. Now I'm going to heat this naan bread up. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to heat them up for about 35 seconds. Hey everybody, let's make some gyros. Let's move our beautiful french fries out of the way. Okay, let's see. Let me move my french fries. Everybody over here is so excited. Yes, they are, and I'm excited as well. I keep saying it, but it's so true. <laughs> All right, let's go. Here's what you're going to do, baby. Take you some gyro meat, just like so. Okay. How much, Gina? Just put you some on there. You hear me? Woo-wee! Mm, me personally, I like a lot on there. I do. Ooh, it's beautiful. It tastes so good. Mm, how much is too much? <laughs> All right, that's beautiful. Let's see. Once we wrap it up, that'll be a nice amount. One more piece. One more piece. <laughs> there we go, baby. All right, so now you're going to put... Some beautiful, 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 beautiful. Let's come down on this picture so you can see a little better. Beautiful shredded lettuce, just like so. Okay? And then, I'm going to grab some tomatoes. Make sure we put some salt and pepper on those tomatoes. My husband likes the onions going throughout. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm And then, that salt and pepper on those tomatoes, that's the best way to have a tomato. Put you some salt and pepper on there. Hoo-wee! Mm-hmm. All right, be very gentle with the salt. Not too much. All you need is just a little sprinkle. Okay? And then, going in with the ranch. My goodness. This ranch is flavored with cucumber, and it is the best. Mm, mm, mm. Listen here. You all never had this before? You better make you one for sure. If you all enjoyed this video, hey, give me a thumbs up. 
And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload one of these awesome recipes. Okay, I want to transfer this to his plate over this way. Mm, and let me put some fries on his plate as well. Okay, let me set that right there for the moment. Oh, look at this. This right here is what I call gyros. This is how they're made at the Young's house. Mm -mm -mm. Now, this right here will make you smack somebody if you never smacked anybody before. And they'll say, what was that for? And you're going to say, because the food is so daggone good. Do you hear me? And they're going to say, oh, I hear you. Where's your food at? Let me try it. <laughs> but be careful because they'll turn around and smack you. Mm. Look at that. I'm going to take this to my husband. I'm going to come back and then I'm going to feed you all. I'm going to give it a taste. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, that was one down. One more to go. Well, actually two more to go because <laughs> I need to make Dakotas as well. Okay, so same thing. Same procedure. Go in with your meat. All right. Dakota's back there playing the game. I told him to come eat, and he's still playing that game. He's got his face in the game. He's playing Fortnite, and when he's playing that game, you can talk to him, and he, it's like he doesn't even hear you. <laughs> so he'll come and get his when he's ready. All right. Just like this. Oh, man. Do you? Woo okay, so I took my husband his. And you all are going to laugh. You all that know me, you're going to laugh about this. I took him his and he said, woo-wee. Right? And so you know what that means. That means this. That means he's getting ready to tear that bad boy up, right? <laughs> yes, it does. Mm, if you hear some crunching, I'm crunching on these beautiful french fries. Here, you guys, taste one. Mm, let me know what you think. It's nice and crispy and fluffy in the inside, done just perfectly. Mm, 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 mm. Just some lettuce on there. As well as tomatoes. Not too many tomatoes. Not too many, just a little bit of onions for me. Okay, and then we're going to go in there with that cracked black pepper. Oh, yeah. A little bit more tomatoes because I want a piece of tomato in every bite. And then a little bit of sea salt, guys. Just a little bit. Little is all you need. Okay, I'm just putting up my lettuce. Here's another fry, guys. Mmm, mmm, mmm. And then you put you some sauce on, just like so. If you wanted to put sriracha on here, if you wanted to do sour cream, whatever you wanted to do on yours would be just fine. And I like just a little bit. You see that? Mm -hmm. Look down at that. Look at this, guys. Oh, yeah, baby. Now we're talking, right? Okay. Hold on. Let me fix my area up. I like for my area to be nice and beautiful before I give my tasting. Put my salt and pepper away. Dakota's gyro meat. He'll come and get his when he's ready. I'll let him make his own. Mm -hmm. God bless this meal. Look at this. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this meal today. We thank you for your blessings and your love. We thank you that your mercy is great. Come into our hearts, Lord Jesus. We need you in our life. We believe in you. We have faith in you. We make you our Lord and Savior. We pray that you are with us every step of the way, Lord Jesus. And we thank you that you are with us every step of the way. We can't do anything in life without you, Lord. Please forgive us for our sins. We thank you for the roof over our head, the food that you feed us, and the love that you give us daily. Amen. Let's totally dig in. Look at this. Whew. Listen here. If you all enjoyed this video, you better make sure to give me a thumbs up. Look at this. 
don't forget to click on that notification bell so you can be notified every time I put up a video look at this guys take the first bite and the bread oh it's so soft and you can smell and you can taste the yeast in this beautiful bread it's so soft and beautiful dig in guys taste that mm, I'm going in hurry up okay mmm mmm Mmm, 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 listen here, mmm, 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 listen here, this stands up against the best of them, you hear me, no lie, no lie, if you follow this recipe, you will fall in love, you will fall in love with this gyro right here, Mm, take one more bite. Oh. Mm. oh, it's so, mm, 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 mm. so delectable. Mm. I know there's some of you that are like, Gina, where's the fries? Here it is. Mm. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Now you gotta bite this way while you still have a little bit of that French fry in your mouth. Mmm. Mmm. I'm speechless. <clears throat> and as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night. Good night. Mm, mm, mm. Ooh, that's good.